Hi guys, it's me Karen. Welcome back to my channel. We're doing part two of this page here. And this is the book, Colin Thompson's Coloring Book. And we are doing this in Distress Ink. I'm trying to get it back into the area where you can see all of it and not touch it. <laughs> Uh, try to keep it in frame here. It's a very large book, very tall, and then of course I'm doing a double page, so it's really big. So what I'm going to do here is a little shading on this piece here, and then I'm going to put a little bit of um, color on the keys up here. So this is like a, inside of piano, the keys go all the way across. Then you have the inside in here, and this is kind of, I don't know if it's called a harp, harp accord or, or something. It's, um, what I remember, it's kind of a triangle that comes out to a point on this side. It had little keys on this side, and you would strum it this way. I played it in grade school, so I don't <laughs> remember what it's called, but I called it a harpsichord. So I'm not sure if that is correct. All right, so we're just going to get in here and I have the, um, I know a funny looking pad on here, but it's the one I was using yesterday. And as I did yesterday, I'm only putting ink on that portion. And if you can see here, I run it across so it's on that point, just like that. And then I'm just going to take that point and I'm going to draw it right across this line here like a pencil for a pen and just ink up the bottom of the keys here. Top of the keys, it doesn't make any difference, just getting some color on there to give them an older effect. And the pounders that um, would be in here would also have a tiny bit of color, so we're just going to run them where you can see them in here. Run a little on that bar too just want to make a cohesive look here. We're also going to do that little guy up there. I was asked why I don't use a smaller tool while working. Um, number one, I don't like the little tools that I have. They're not the best. I haven't really found anything else that um, I get used to. I'm used to these. I was using these when I first started using ink. So I kind of have a feel for them. A lot of people don't, but like I said, I've been using these forever. And it's just something I like to use. It's like your favorite paintbrush or your favorite pencil group. If you have a specific way you like to do it, that's what you end up doing. These are like a wooden dowel, and they have a little piece of foam on the end on both sides. They do not hold up much ink, and when you do use them, they do kind of uh, make that circle because it's really hard not to put pressure on this because this foam here is not the same as the foam here. <laughs> it's really, really, really soft. But I'm going to shade this thing down here. So with these, we push it down really hard because you're not going to get very much ink in there. And then you have to use it really, 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 really softly. And I'm just going to kind of give some shadowing to this plate here. You can use anything that you like that makes you comfortable to um, put down this ink. You can use Q-tips. You can use, um, I think, We Are Memory Keepers or something. Have those little ones you put on your finger and have a dauber on the end. So you can uh, use it that way. It's like a little cup that fits on your hand. It has a really nice round um, sponge on it. If I can find those, I will leave a link down below 
on what I'm talking about because it's kind of hard to explain. Um, I don't use them because I can't have anything that um, cuts the air circulation off my fingers. That may sound odd, but <laughs> this, uh, I have a skin condition and if I put like gloves or plastic on my hands, my hands will break out. So I do not use anything that uh, can risk that happening. I'm going to put a little dark in here too. Just because I think those should be dark down at the bottom. Anywhere else that you think you want to put in a little shadow, you've got this out, use it. Um, I think that's it. I'll probably come back to that maybe a little later. That little plate was bothering me. Okay, now we have our pencils. We can use a bunch of pencils to um, darken areas, lighten areas, do whatever you want to. You have to pick your right pencil though. We are working on top of Distress Ink, which you can get a nice um, coloration on with most pencils. Wax base, probably a better option than oil base, but I am going to do an oil base and a wax so you can see. Just make sure I am in focus here. Okay, so I have a polychromo white. And we are going to whiten this line here. And see how that works. we want to brighten that up a little there. I like how the polychromos work in this book. So um, the prismas kind of sit on top of the page while these just kind of glide right on. So we're going to lighten those up just the edges so we know where they are. Okay. Then we have like this chimney dude here. So we're going to lighten him up. Just so you can see him. And we're going to lighten up a little of the violin area down here. Used to play a violin too. <laughs> grade school again. Did a lot of things in grade school back in my day. Okay. Just so you know that that's there. A little shine in there. Okay, my head's probably in the way. Sorry. We're also going to use a ruler and draw in these uh, strings again because you can't see them. We're going to add in a little extra on the light. There's a little light up here, so we want to make that bright. And then bring down some shine. Okay. Um, double check to make sure you don't have funny things in the windows. There's a man sticking his head out of this window, so I don't want to mess too much with that. We have little pins here, so we want to brighten those up a little. The stairs, we're just going to lighten the tops. Okay. 
you can take as much time as adding details on this as you like. There are little cracks, there are little eyeballs, there are little pieces of everything everywhere. <laughs> so while you're doing this, you can have a lot of fun with it. We're going to, like, here, I'm going to get the camera down. I know this is going to mess with what I said, staying in focus. There are little tiny brackets that go across these plates. So you can add those back in. You can rivet the things together. So you can put your own little screws in if you want. I just want the plates to look like they're plates. So we're just going to draw a line right up that. So we get a little space there. Sorry. We have a line across here. And see this little guy in here? We'll kind of lighten him up a little bit. And he's peeking out of the window. <laughs> Just gonna lighten this side up a little. And like I said, I'll get a ruler so I can get these nice and straight. But we're gonna add those back in. So you'll be able to see them. And then we have a little guy here. So we're going to brighten up his legs a little. And his nose. Tiny little hands. And then we can color in his little uh, tank he is bringing up. Most of the colors here I have are browns and yellows and reds. So we kind of want to stay in that line. So we'll get a cadmium red out. And we're going to color in his little tank. Ah, it's a book. We're going to cover up his little book. It's got pages down here. Right, sharpen that up. So we can get a nice little point in there. He's got a little book, and um, what color should I do his cloak? Do, do, do. I don't want to throw too many colors in here, so we'll do it kind of in a... Okay. Shoot, so sorry, got noise going on here. <laughs> we'll do that in a Payne's Gray. I'm going to sharpen that up too. There we go. Get that big old piece of wood off there and just very lightly put some color in. And we can darken this side of the book and the pages.
There we go. And then we'll bring the white back in and do the steps he's walking on. And then go up to this platform up here. Okay. And we have all these cracks. <laughs> I'm going to leave those alone. You can go up them a little bit, brighten them up, make your own that come out if you want. I'm going to go to black. I have to sharpen that, definitely. I can either do this with a pencil. So there are these tiny little rivets here. If you have a gel pen, you could use that. I would make those stand out a little more. Just gonna go all the way across. Try to keep them spaced the right way. And then just kind of darken it underneath. Just using that pencil really light there. And then on the side where you put the white, you want to make that just a little darker on the inside. Helps it stand out a little bit more. I don't know how up you can see this. Okay, we're just going to keep playing around with this until we like it. If you like those little cracks, just make sure you get a sharp point on your pencil. Just go through and put them back in. Oh goodness, there are their eyes in here too. <laughs> Can we keep this? But darken this.
Okay. What else is down here that we can mess with other than that little boat down here? Gonna darken this area up in here. rim of my drum make sure we don't get in there the pipe up here in each little window you can darken those up at least the lines so you have the uh, A better look of what's on here. We've got some kind of pole here, some kind of pole here, some kind of pole here, <laughs> and then a bunch of uh, like ropes. And then we have a very ornate piece here. With little knobs. You can't tell what that one is, but we're going to make sure we can see those. So our boat looks stands out a little bit more. Let me do a little more work on that. darken in anything that's black with at least a little line of the black pencil. Just to deepen it up a little. And we don't want to mess up with the little puppy that's here. Make him stand out a little more. And we have a little face over here. Move it over so you can see. <laughs> has a person inside of it. <laughs> um, yes, there is a person holding on to the little bell here.
There is a cat looking out this window. Ladders going up to the stairs that are inside here. Let's see if I can ink those stairs up just a little bit inside that there. Okay, and we got a little dude over here playing a saxophone. Let's make sure we look like a cat. Not sure what this one's supposed to look like. The tongue sticking out, I think. If it doesn't, it does now. <laughs> okay, there's two people hanging out up here. I'm going to kind of leave them alone for right now. Do the bottom half of these stairs. Some light coming out of the stairwell here. Coming down that way. This one is all dark. So we'll get some white here. And pull that out a little. Same here. Lighten up this gal here, or guy, whoever it is. Kicking back and having a conversation over there. Got our horn here. And we can put in our rivets. There we go. So we're just going to be doing this the whole way here. I've got this guy here on his banjo. A lot of these guys are wearing their crowns. She's got a box. It's going to brighten her up a little bit. Get some interest into those. And same with the black. We're going to add a little white so we get our shine going up our pipes here. And we have rivets here too, so we want to make sure they stand out. It's the sharpest corner. And the little screws there. And we have 
some something going on there. <clears throat> we gotta <laughs> make sure we can see it. Okay. Moving up. We've got our brick that's separated here, so we might as well make a separation line. And then just kind of blend it up into the top. Now each one of these windows, <laughs> you might want to check in them because uh, some of them might have a little dude in them. Just going to run that color up in there. I'm going to do the same over here. Darken it in some areas and then bring the white in. And add a little bit of shine to it. And if you didn't get a straight line, just go over it with the black again and then try again. Should get out a ruler. <coughs> so we're just going to follow that going up, doing it like that. I'm also going to get out of brown and do some of this in brown and red. have to check out what color I want to use though. That's too pink. Mm, might be a little too red. What I want is kind of like a burgundy color so burnt carmine. Yep, that'll work. If you don't like the color that you put down and don't want to see it, erase it. <laughs> Go back in with the color you picked. So you're going to add some of the red and you can, red, uh, you can add it into the um, creases of our here too if you like and just help show those off a little bit don't do it to all of them just do it to a couple that are up here we're just accenting we can do a couple down here too so it's kind of like put together as a violin. It's kind of cool. I like this stuff. <laughs> yeah, we'll kind of do that on the roof here. Just add a little color. Add in a little black for shadow. Throwing a little white for a highlight. And then we will um, ink in some 
light coming out of that. Put a little red on the... Did I grab the right one? Nope. Roof up here. These little things. It's just fun. Add some of that in here. If you want, you can put little rivets here going up to that other line. the red on the instruments I can put a little in over here just to bring that color over just in the shadows very lightly on the brickwork I'm barely putting pressure on it And then we'll see if we want some of that up here in our little towers. We can put a red door here. He could have a red banjo. And this little thing up here can be red. Okay, sorry about that. Little guy here is bothering me. I'm going to put shadow here a little more. Shouldn't be so bright. He's wearing a hood. <laughs> we'll just kind of smear it a little bit. There we go. Okay, should have got the ruler while I was up. I wonder if I can do that without moving the camera too much. <laughs> you guys get to stare at the picture. Ruler is not on my desk. Uh, so I am going to see if I can lay it here. Just draw. Well, I'm not left handed, so that would be really silly. <laughs> I mean, I know I'm. Don't care if I make mistakes, but that would be a big one. Okay, then another one goes up. The second key. We can take it down a little. Go. This one goes to the top. One up there. Two. And this one goes to the bottom one. Whoop. Boy. Here we go. Alright. So 
so we got our strings back. And then um, two on the side go up and the here, but you really don't need to see that. It goes underneath this bridge here. So we'll just kind of darken it up up here a little bit. My up here so you can see. And I'm going to turn the book a little bit here. I'm going to do the stairs uh, up here. And I need to go on the bottom and we're going to lightly bring that up. There's a door over here. Try to get into the corner of that, but I don't think I can. to try to get in there a little better. Okay. I'm just going to go all the way to the top. These are wind instruments going up as handrails. Oh, my cat's going to start meowing now. going to use this to darken those stairs up right next to the arm of the violin and on this side of the wind instrument. Okay, is there something in here? There's a thing here, and it goes down like this, but I don't know what it is. So I'm just gonna help it out a little. Just gonna darken this area up a little here too, with a little bit of the brown. Help the shadow out. And then we have brick up here that I didn't see before, so I'm going to have to um, get some ink in that. We can use this brown also in the violin.
you want to knock back that white we put on it so it's not so white, you can throw in some of that brown. It'll still give you that highlight. but it won't make it as intense as it was. Okay, I'm going to be here forever if I keep this up. <laughs> Just need a little more color in there. here to the big horn. We'll throw some of this in here to sharpen that edge up a little bit. little dude there. Okay, we're gonna bring in a yellowish color. Yellow um, glaze. Brighten up some of these areas here. Get the pieces we didn't get with the ink. bird here. Really pretty window. Go over the inside of that. Nobody in the window. <laughs> That's always good. windows. Sorry if I didn't have this in focus. I'm really bad at that. Just went around up here a little bit, added some color. We want to bring back in the red up here that I took out a little bit of. So it's the dark carmine or burnt carmine. Just going to add it back in there. Part 
<clears throat> I have to get the camera up again. I'm sorry. So we will grab some orange in there too. Really have to move that piece. Okay, well this one is um, cadmium orange. bring in a brown. I have my pencil case over here. I'm just whipping through it to find the right color. So I'm going to bring in the um, Van Dyke brown. This area here. The drums down here, we're just going to darken along the edges and of where the shadows are. This is the Van Dyke Brown. I always think I'm saying that wrong. We're going to bring the white in and highlight these pieces that come down. Double check to make sure there isn't a person in the door or a window or just hanging out. <laughs> As there always seems to be. that fuse box there. Let's make sure you didn't go too dark on anything. Darken that door though. Seems to be light coming out of it but it's not open. And, uh, Make sure we still have our lines here. Okay, we'll do the same thing down here. Darken it up.
do something with that floor up there too. And then over here, we have some windows. Make sure we can see those. Darken that area up a little bit. Really dark over by the guitar. Okay, we're gonna get a better, I need like an olive green here. Olive green, yellowish. Just add that green back in. Remember we're in the water and we're gonna get a little algae coming up. That's what I'm going for. I want some of that growing up here. I'm going to put a little up here too. Just on one side of that. Put it on both sides. <laughs> sign here it says Bonnie reference to I don't know <laughs> anybody know <laughs> and let's see earth green yellowish Get this little guy green. It's like a little dragon <laughs> spitting out the water. This soups back to the um, olive green, yellowish. Just to add a little darker tone to it. white in there. On these two. Look a little green up there. What color was I using just a second ago? I only have two pencils out <laughs> that are green. Okay. All right, then we're going to go over to the guitar. 
we have the um, burnt carmine that we're going to take in here. Anybody in here with eyeballs? Gosh, I hope not. Okay, we're going to go in really close here and get that flag highlighted. Take the orange, um, cadmium orange, brighten that up a little bit there. There's a hand coming out of there and just go back over that red with that. Take in some black here to outline our and put some cracks on here too. And this is bricks, so I have to really get down there. I'm probably in the way of the camera, but we're going to we put in the brick or try something like that blend it up a little so you can see it a little bit better blend it in a little Okay, we're going to do the same with this one down here. I'm going to blend it, but you can still see that one. This line shadow it out a little and then go back in with the red and the orange on this side. All of this has got to be the red color, so I was trying to think. This is a door. And we have steps here. So we'll highlight the top of the steps, highlight the inside of the door, 
it's open. Color in the door brown. Back in with the red. Then with the orange. Orange. up here we're going to do the same thing that we did on the violin and draw the um, chords I guess will be black on this thingy whatever this thingy is I keep calling it a tire but I don't think it is we're just going to draw that line so I know where it is Follow the lines that they've given you to darken. Use your white to highlight. the way it looks, correct it with the black. simple. <laughs> and you just play with it till you may like what you see. Okay, I'm going to darken these up here. Don't think there were any people in there. Shadows under here. And then we have our rivets. Just 
make sure our line is seen here and there. I think I'm on a pencil. Okay, let's see if we can get these up to where they're supposed to go. One, two, bracket one. It's going to be somewhere in here. You will only see it in certain spots, it looks like. So, I don't know. This one, this <laughs> one, there, and the last one, let's go up to that one, something like that. So you'll see them, they just don't stand up as much as this one. All right. Let's darken up our little drum here. What color is Van Dyke Brown? Just give it a shadow. We have a little person here. Other than the people that are playing the instruments, the people that are working look to be wearing cloaks. So maybe they don't want to be seen. And this here is the um, Bister. Just kind of bring some more of that in there. And then we'll blend it in with the white. I like this guy along with the guy over here in the um, got the own little musical instrument there sleeping there. Okay, I've got to highlight all the tops of these steps. And we have a guy, what is he doing? He's like carrying an apple or something. <laughs> He's coming down the stairs. I just don't know what he's carrying, so I have to look at him a little better. get in to this section too. This one's a little harder. Okay. These are two little happy people singing over here. So to get them a little wider. <laughs> they got their notes going up, so we're going to have to uh, either darken behind them or color those in. I don't know. If I darken those, this is just black. And I'm giving them a shadow underneath them. Just 
Just so you can see them, and I don't know if that stands out enough. Okay, I see all this little stuff. I'm gonna darken this here. There's a lot of stuff here. I'm going to put a color on that flag. I want the flag to stand out, so we're going to do it in blue. This here is middle phthalo blue. Darker blue, cobalt blue, and then go in with the white. What is this guy carrying? He's carrying something completely different too. So we're going to pull in Cool Gray 1. I'm going to turn the book. And other than stairs, these are also a wind instrument of some kind. I mean, they all, all the stairs basically are. So I'm just going to lighten that up on the one side and then use the black and darken it up on the other. And that's how I'm going to do all of the um, wind instruments. Put a little of this up here in this pipe section too. Window maybe. I don't know. I think that'll look nice there. I know there are more. We can add a little of this in the guitar over here too. Just to help my blending of the uh, ink in here. in between our little strings. <laughs> and we're going to throw some up here too. You don't need it. But some of these pieces do. Keys. Peoples. in here I don't know I'm up here on this building but you can't see what I'm doing it's a very ornate building here or wind instrument And 
And always remember, if you don't get a straight line, go back in with the black and fix that. Can darken this one. Don't know why some of them are dark and some of them aren't, so I don't understand wind instruments that well. Uh, but these guys are wind instruments too, so we're going to lighten this side here. I think this one is. This one. Light gray on those. Bring that up. There we go. We'll use that on these brackets that come down too. I like that color. Don't know until you start. Might as well add it in a few spots so everything is cohesive too. So Look at brackets on this side. We got some dudes hanging out over on this side too. This guy's got a hat on. How cute. Um, these. And we pulled out a uh, cool gray one, so let's go with cool gray. I don't know, two might be a little too light. Can't really tell much difference between those two. I want it a little darker, so cool gray. 1V. <laughs> it's either 5 or 4. It's too early for me. I'm just going to darken some of these shadowy areas. I've been working on this for a while. Yes, I know. My watch is telling me. <laughs> Use a timer on it sometimes to find out how long I've been working on page. Like that cat. Okay, here, this one's got a line across it, and we're going to mimic that, put a line across it. Put little rivets in it. Can't see the inside, so I'm going to bring a little light down from the light up here. Bring it down into the light out of the water down there. This one can come out too. If I can keep a straight line. There we go. Just adding this color in so it blends around with the rest of the page. Darken that up a little. Are there people up there? I just want to make sure I'm not coloring over somebody. <laughs> just going to go across and add some of this in. Soften up those lines a little bit up there. 
increase the dimension of these lines down here. Then we'll take the other gray, work it in. It's a little thumbs up right there. <laughs> we don't want to cover that up. <laughs> what this guy's doing. Sorry, this guy's carrying a jar it looks like. So we will lighten that up here. Not exactly sure what's in it. That way, I'll keep it lighter. And this coat, darken around it. Okay. So look like they're high rise apartments up here. Take the lightest color. Make sure it's all blended. I'll throw some white in there too. Okay, what we're going to do now is put blue in the sky, and then if we have any smoke, we can just let that pour out. And then I have to figure out what to do with this little thing here, and how much more work I want to do down in the bottom. So I'm going to get out my ink. Okay, got a piece of paper, ink pad, two inks. These are the ones I did the water in here, so I'm going to use them up in the sky. I'll go ahead and uh, use the broken um, china. This is my favorite color, by the way. If you're wondering, this is great for skies. I put Stormy Sky in there just to darken it. Stormy Sky and the Death D Concord. Beautiful for a stormy sky. But we're going to add in some brightness here, which isn't really bright, so... <laughs> I'm going to ink the whole pad up. It's going to be this color. And I'm going to do um, the sky. Hopefully I don't cover too many people while I'm doing this. There is a border across here, and it's way too small for me to get out post-it notes. So I'm just going to lay this paper down and hold it with my fingers. And then start inking up here. <laughs> I don't mind if it goes over the uh, objects. We should have enough color in them not to have a problem. Pencil on them. We can always go over them with a little bit of... Now this is going to be tough here. Um, white if we want to, or white gel. Little dude up here is going to get covered. And then I have 
a side border too. Uh, what's in my way here? So we'll try to keep a side border. Don't go with the book. <laughs> Sticky notes would be better. Just bringing the blue in. If you push down on the um, corner, you can get the lines like there are up here in the sky. So if you want some lines, do that. I think that looks good enough on that side. We're going to try to do the same on the other side. Link it up. Try to line that up. I guess if you had washi tape or something, you could do that. Down just a hair more. Start on the paper up here, then just bring it down. Angle it if you want sharper colors going across there. I wasn't supposed to go to the edge, but I did. So I may just do that on the other side. And right over here, try to get it in the corner. Okay. All the way down. So I can try to keep it on the thingy and just bring it into the page. dark so I want a dark one over here so we'll just put one down across that guy <laughs> one across down here through that and we have a blue section here we can't forget blue section down in there anywhere else There we go. Now, this one is just uh, putting it in the corner, get the corner colored, and then just uh, drag it across in some areas. Give your sky a little something something going on up there there we go there that looks better now, like I said, if you want to touch up any of this, go in either with a white pencil. This is a Prisma White. And just go over these lines again with a white. You can come all the way down if you want. Bring some lightness on like one side of the buildings. If they're buildings. <laughs> okay. Gonna add some here. Be in the 
boat. Make sure those stairs light comes out of the lights. Can add a shine in your horn. I'll spray out some of this water. Just have it come all the way across. He's spewing it, so why not? We had some smoke up here or some kind of fuzziness that came out so you can add some more of that out here go into the building with it across to the other side you know you can do whatever you want here your picture we want to brighten this guy up just add some white then he's got a nice little blue robe <laughs> This guy is kind of a yellow guy. Kind of lighten him up so you can see what he's doing. But other than that, he can stay that color. That's what's fun about coloring books. Do whatever you want to with them. Another king over here, he's playing an instrument. We've got one down here. Lighten this guy's pants up. Gal in here. lighten anything up go for it brighten it oh and I forgot that building up there um why did I do that in? Some kind of brown. So I'll just pick a brown. Vintage photo. And darken that up a little. Just right there. If we want to darken anything else up, we'll just bring it down. Uh, how up are we? I guess you're pretty far up. Put any of this on anything that you want. Darken it there, bring that up. Just kind of go up the stairs and darken that. Just don't hit the little guy because we tried to make him white. <laughs> Over here. Um, I'm going to darken this thing. Give it some brown in there. Make sure our violin still looks like a violin. Add some of that color in there too. Buildings down in here. Just 
anywhere you want to darken it up a little bit. This brick that goes across, we'll get that. Nice and dark there too. We'll add some of this up in the corners. And I think I am done. I like how that turned out. I'm going to kind of darken that up a little too. Then I'll bring the white back in and brighten that up. Okay, I found the yellow. It's the Squeeze Lemonade and I'm going to do the windows that um, don't have any light in them. So, like even these here, just add a little bit extra in there. There's a window here, window here, window over here. <laughs> I mean, this is the last touches. Um, window up here. These window. I don't want to get that one. There's a guy in that one. A little up here. Add a little over on this side. A window in that one. There's like little windows. We just want to make sure that they uh, look like they have some kind of color in them. I think I got them all. I'm going to use a little bit of um, an orange not orange, it's a marmalade. Yeah, the sparsed, the sparsed, spiced marmalade. <laughs> Same thing, and I'm just going to darken up some of that in some of these just to give it a dimension. Okay, just pick a spot and put it in there. It could be at the top or the bottom your choice. I'm just going to add some of that. Just to brighten them up a little bit. And there's some up here. It's okay if it gets out into the um, sky. It's illuminating. So just kind of make it bigger by a little bit. <laughs> Make the windows on the side a little darker in the orange and then it kind of gives you the idea that it's coming in a little bit, giving your shadows towards the edge. If you think anything needs to be brightened up a little, add a little, add a little in here and there, it'll brighten it up. Boom, boom, boom. Maybe in these keys. If you do it on one side though, you have to do it on the other. You don't want both sides or the sides not to look right. There we go. I like it. I am going to call this done. I'm going to pull it out a little bit so you can actually see the whole thing. Hopefully. I don't know if you can. <laughs> Let me stand up and see. No, you can't. Okay. <laughs> there. Just pull it way up. It's a big book. So, there we go. Turn the lights off. And you'll get exactly what it kind of looks like. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I had a lot of fun with this one. And I will see you in another video. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care, everyone. Bye now.